Come From Away is the affectionate lyrical name that the people of Gander gave to their unexpected visitors in September of 2001. It's also a Broadway-bound musical about five magical days that followed the horrors of the 9-11 attacks. Nearly 7,000 passengers on jets bound for the U.S. had to be given food, shelter and comfort in a small town in Newfoundland. We're on final approach and I'm looking at the airport and there's just airplanes stacked everywhere. And I'm flying a 777, which is a large wide body, and I'm just looking around going, where am I even going to park this thing? Now retired, Ms. Bass was one of the first female captains working for a U.S. airline. She's played by a top New York actress who says the role of a successful pilot and aviation pioneer is an honor and a pleasure. I've never been a part of anything that has so much good energy around it. I've been a part of hit shows before, but this is different because the foundation of it is about kindness and compassion. And people, our audiences, are latching onto that in a way that feels absolutely electric. On the northeast tip of North America. Another character is the real-life mayor of Gander, who organized the relief effort. He was a little skeptical about the play at first. A musical? Well, what is a musical? You know, we know about plays and concert, but a musical? How are they going to take what we did or what the world experienced during 9-11 and put that into a musical? So we just said, okay, let's see it. Let's wait and see what happens. What happened was a show that's held audiences spellbound across the U.S. and Canada, not least in Newfoundland, where for two nights last October, the people of Gander watched as their generosity was celebrated on stage. We don't shine light on that enough. Do you know what I mean? You know, and even as, even as you're putting together a play, you know, you're always like looking for the dark and, and you know, you find it so easily, unfortunately, especially these days, that you know, we just really, really wanted to, to honor the people and, and shine a light on what they did. If advanced ticket sales in New York are any indication, it's safe to expect another sold-out run, just like Toronto. It seems theatergoers are hungry for a well-told tale of human kindness in the face of adversity, even set to rollicking music in a remote part of Canada. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera.